father and I am here because basically my son brought me here. Which is, do you want me to just talk about myself or Alex or both? Both. Mm -hmm. My son um, had a very bad birth injury because they didn't do a cesarean and he lost a lot of oxygen and they said he never walked or talk and he's basically come a long way since then but we're in New Zealand they just don't have anything for children like Alex except to put them in homes and just forget about them. Um, I thought well, there's something I can do to help that. And I thought, well, if he's lost a lot of brain cells, they can put some new ones back in and do therapy and medications to overcome that. And I've noticed that he's changed a lot. And this is only early days, but I think this is the best thing I can do for my son. And for me personally, I came here because um, I have liver cirrhosis um, for reasons that involved my ex-husband. There was a lot of things, but they basically said that I, they couldn't really do anything except trans, give me somebody else's liver and give me a lot of anti-rejection drugs and this and that. So, yeah, apparently put some new liver, some new cells in there, my liver is regenerating, it's reduced in size and I feel better, I feel younger, I feel much better than I have in a long time. Karen, Karen also had a problem um, with her feet and her legs. My so feet, well, that's the main thing, like I had, I had no feelings left from my knees down, numb, pain, just horrible pain, I couldn't tell hot from cold, I couldn't tell. Um, if you know, Dave would rub my feet. I said, "Ouch, it hurts! Please rub my feet." And I had no feelings. And I, I said, well, "It still hurts. Are you touching it or you're not touching it?" He'd be rubbing my feet, and I couldn't even feel it. After coming here, I, it's almost like it was when I was a kid. It's gone. It's gone. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever that was in, in New Zealand. They said, "Well, that's it." You know, they had you some drugs that they did yeah. to try and treat them in New Zealand. More but drugs which hurt my liver more because yeah. every time there's a problem they give me more and more drugs and it's, my liver is, you know, right. more, so. it was and a vicious cycle. A cycle that had to be broken and it's gone, so it's really good. Um, I'm like, wow. <laughs> but my skin, I'm hoping that'll get better because it's still, I've done a lot of damage, I'm waiting for it to grow out. Too many years, sunshine. Yeah, and you've got some sun, you, got, you like the sun, and that's a problem. But, you know, take it So we decided to come that, initially because of Alex. Alex. Because we only had Alex back for a year, and we want to keep him as long as we can, hopefully forever. Yeah. Um, but he needs to be able to improve quite a bit before he grows bigger than me. So <laughs> this was our, this was the best option, this is the best chance of improving him and getting him to a, a stage where he'll be able to live with us without there being any problems. So Or you may be in to be independent someday. Yeah, that'd be that would be marvelous. Even just to be able to live with us and be able to come out and just help me out in the garden and go fishing feed the or cats or feed the cats and feed the chickens yeah. and yeah. <laughs> if you can learn to do all those things that would be wonderful and help mum wash the dishes and yeah, put the washing on the line it's just to help out and just be you know so you can actually join in with the family better mm -hmm. and then if that happens then we should be able to keep them with us forever yeah. and hopefully if he gets any better than that he'll be able to be self-dependent later on yeah. So that's my goal. I want so, to be independent. Yeah. And so since I'm not going to live forever because I said, oh my god, because they gave me five years to live in New Zealand. I'm like, god, I'm going to be, by the time he's 14, I'll be dead. You know, what am I going to mm -hmm. do? Because they're going to no. put him in a home in an institution. And I said, so, no. So how do you get time? So I, I said, I've got to do something. No. I, can't, mm -hmm. I, can't, I, can't, I can't handle this. And I suddenly just said, no, we're going to China. I did research for about a year and I decided he was the best guy. We looked at everything. I looked at everybody and everything. Yeah. Dr. Wu was the only guy I didn't go to. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I know his record, I know his track record. He hasn't killed people. He's <laughs> killed. No, he's a good man. He's a smart man. I said, no, I'm going there. Yeah. And that was that. And I didn't even know. I didn't even come here for me. I came for Alex. But it only ended up as a sidekick. He said, oh, well, he could do 
Both. The, both. And I said, oh, okay. You know, because that, because I originally just was going to come here for Alex and I was going to go to Beijing International Hospital because I thought he was just a neurologist and the, yeah. the liver people were somewhere else. So mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, but we might have to get everything done into one place. And so it's good. good. I can be with Alex and everybody's... It's good. We really yeah. enjoyed it. I've yeah. enjoyed my... I'm going to miss everybody. It's been like a holiday. It's sad. It's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's a pretty crazy it's sort of place. place. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the staff here have been so, so nice. Good. Everybody's been Very helping. Good. It puts the West to shame. Mm -hmm. It really does. I, I don't even want to think about going into a hospital. Well, you don't need to know. <laughs> <it's a crime. laughs> no, no, that's the thing. My guy was saying, well, don't you need to go in for your 10th liver scan this year? It's like, well, maybe not. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it, no point. What? 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 You mean you don't have cancer? Maybe not. <laughs> oh, because all the scans and all the drugs and all the stuff they're giving me, they're going to give me cancer and all the stress. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can so go home now uh, and just relax and get home with things. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, especially as we've now got this uh, lovely young lady that looks like she's going to be coming home with us. She's going to come and stay with us for the next six months with the fully trained speech therapist and physical therapist. And so she can continue to work with Alex every day for the next six months. My brother will probably flirt with her. He comes in. Oh. You'll be there. So I'm going to be going, flirt, 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 probably. Mm. He'll be staying in one of his houses, in his little house. Yeah. <laughs> I'll okay. pull Warner, though. <laughs> He's a flirt. Mm. That's good. Mm. <laughs> okay.